careful. The picket range is a special place. Nestled deep in the heart of Washington's North Cascades, it is dramatic, rugged, and remote. It's not an easy place to get to, but the reward for the challenging approach is a pristine temple of jagged peaks that has beckoned to climbers for generations. This is the story of my first trip to the pickets. I was joined by my good friend Ultraviolet, who I met while hiking the Continental Divide Trail, and we climbed a mountain called West McMillan Spire. Given some steep snow and airy exposure, it was the first time in a while that I really took a step out of my comfort zone. So I hope you enjoy this adventure in the picket range. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go into the pickets. We're going into the picket range. In the North Cascades National Park. And our objective is to go in and climb West McMillan Spire, which is a, a surprisingly class three peak in the very rugged picket range. Why don't you tell us a little <laughs> bit about this approach? It's easy. We just walk <laughs> along a creek for four miles. Just walk along a creek. And then and we then go we uphill do? for two miles. Straight up. And 4,000 feet. Anything uh, significant we might encounter on this yeah, some easy more two class mile three climb. climbing using tree roots. So the approach should be, uh, I think heinous would be the word, or fun. Cascadian. Cascadian. Um, and we're going to go up and over a uh, little notch or pass and down into Terror Basin where we will camp for the night and then tomorrow we'll go for West McMillan. So uh, this one uh, should turn out to be quite the adventure. More Ready? alpinism, mountaineering, climbing. We have bit. crampons. We have ice I have axe. crampons. That a... You can't see it. Nope, it's on the other side. I've got a helmet and an ice axe. What am I doing? Having fun. <laughs> You can go, I'm just uh, informing my camera that we are going to be going up. Does your camera need to be prepared for you? Yes, it does. We have reached our turnoff, um, where we will begin going basically straight up. We have to gain something like 4,000 feet over two miles, so that's going to be fun. Uh, looking forward to the route scrambling and other uh, weird challenges. Uh, we'll encounter on this climb and see you at the top. There's really no other way. <laughs> Was that graceful? Oh, that was more graceful than mine. <laughs> These mushrooms are really cool. We made it to the root scramble. Oh, these feel super attached. That one does.
stem out. Nice. It's hot. That's not a face of having fun. I like this part, but it's freaking hot. Upsy daisy. Hey, I've got mail. And we've got mountains. Well, finally above the trees. That was kind of brutal, but uh, pretty good views. Happy to be up here. This place feels remote. notch with the snow in it and you can see ultraviolet up there on the snow we're gonna go up there sort of traverse and get on over and then right up don't fall. what don't fall. I wasn't planning on it do you think it's worth getting my ice axe out Up at the top of the notch now. It's called Terror Notch, something like that. The notch above Terror Basin, and the views do not disappoint. What an amazing place. Would you say this is adequate? This'll do. This'll do. I think that's what the settlers said. This'll <laughs> do. <laughs> when they settled here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so our objective, West McMillan, is the tallest of these mountains you see here. That one right there. So our route is going to be to go down, around there, up a little bit of the Terror Glacier, up that snowy gully slash notch there. And then it is a class three scramble up that side of West McMillan. Looks like a long way to go, but uh, fortunately, much of it is less steep than it looks. Uh, that will be tomorrow's project. And there is where we will make camp. But first we will have a fairly steep descent on this snowy slope. The good news is, the snow is nice and soft, so it should be easy to kick into. Careful. How's it feel? Good 
may not be a bad idea to have your ice axe. That was actually an awful descent. I, uh, I'm sitting in the snow right now because I just gave up and started glissading where it got less steep. But I was not enjoying that steep traverse part. I really should have stayed on the rocks where I'm more comfortable. Uh, but out of the worst of it now, so I guess it's all good. Traversed over that rocky patch and I wish I would have just taken it down because that would have been, uh, I think, much safer. Oh well. Start of day two, we are on our way up to West McMillan Spire. Um, we kind of traversed over through the bowl, and now we are on some fun slab, which will eventually turn into snow. Um, we'll hop up on the like edge of the glacier, go up a snow chute, and then it is the class three slab scramble uh, up to the top of West McMillan. Cramping up so she can kick better steps for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes the group go fastest. I have no shame. That is alpine that. efficiency. <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with at the top here. It does steepen and my estimation is that is a 45 degree slope. What do we you think? We will measure it when we get up there. We're gonna measure it when we get up there. I think it's like 33. That is, if that's 33, then the earth is flat. We will measure, we have tools for this. I bet that it is, I bet all the water in my smart water bottle. That Water's it, everywhere, that's not worth anything. That it's above 40. I bet one trip to REI that it's above 40. We were planning on doing that anyway. I bet all the peanut M&Ms in my pack that it's above 40. I have two bags of peanut M&Ms. Is that all? <laughs> Come on, you got something worth trading here? I got nothing. Nope. But I bet it's above 40. I bet you carry the tent and the stove out. Deal. Okay. Okay. On rock now. That was very steep, probably 45, 50 degrees. So we know who will be carrying the tent and stove out. 
Worth it. I got you up the slope. You want to do something about your poles? No. Okay. That was the hard part. Slab. Fully featured slab. Easy stepping. Purple flowers. Don't step on them. We only have two months to grow. Slabberific. Oh, what are those big mountains over there, the pointy ones? Not sure. Top of the summit of West, West McMillan. McMillan. This is one of the best summit seats ever. Like, look, you got a, a lean rock. I can put my feet up on the coffee table. It's a pretty good summit seat. I'm just a scaredy baby. You gotta get comfortable with exposure. I don't even know how to comprehend this view. It's amaze balls. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not really sure I've ever seen anything like this view. We're taking some slab down because we couldn't reverse the moves we did to get off the snow. And at least for me, this slab is a little faster than the snow. That descent that you can see above me was awful and exhausting. I'm ready to slide down. I think I'm done playing Mountaineer for a while.
still going. Still going. So we're on our hike out now, morning of day three. This is like an 18 or 20 mile hike. <laughs> it's so humbling the effort and time it has taken to go such a short distance. But I guess that's the difference between mountaineering or an alpinism and just uh, backpacking. It's so much slower even than high route terrain. It's incredible. Um, I mean, it didn't help that I'm uh, extremely cautious and slow on the snow, especially the steep stuff. That took a lot of time and a lot of my energy. Um, the summit was incredibly rewarding. The views were almost unlike anything I'd seen. Um, I learned a lot on this trip and I'm grateful to Ultraviolet for kind of showing me the ropes and <laughs> kicking all those steps on the snow gully. Um, the scrambling part up on top of the the top part of West McMillan was pretty easy and fun. Um, got a little bit spooked at the exposure near the top, even though there were no difficult moves. It was just very airy. But um, it was one hell of an experience, and uh, I'm grateful for it. The picket range is incredible. Uh, just so rugged, so remote. Anyway. When you hike into something like this, it's easy to forget you still have to do everything you did again on the way out. So we have uh, a super steep uh, three and a half, four thousand whatever foot descent and the route scrambling ahead of us. So better get to it. Extreme route scrambling.